In the age of scripted promos, it's becoming more common to see wrestlers flub their lines. I'm here to stay and make make a make a uh, a good good lucha lucha thing. God damn. And forget what they were going to say. Big Show's mine tonight. There have been a host of examples over the years. Well, all the st skeptics and all the people have a little bit of... Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. Sorry. And not only an inanimate, an uh, inanimate object. Hey, shut up! Shut your mouth! But today, we're going to look at 10 times wrestlers forgot their lines. It's called a promo, shut kid. Shut your and mouth, If you want to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it. So go ahead. We start with an episode of SmackDown from 2017, where Bobby Roode would call out Dolph Ziggler following a recent pay-per-view match between the two. Both men would go back and forth on the mic until Roode began to take long pauses, so long that they prompted Ziggler to speak twice when he wasn't supposed to. You got it! Excellent. Dolph even repeats himself and then does some ad-libbing in order to give Rude a chance to finish his portion of the promo. Anytime, any place, you name it. You see, it's not gonna go... It's gonna go exactly the way the first match went. Rude then begins to follow the rest of the script and challenges Ziggler to a match there and then. And it looks like it's about to happen until Dolph walks out to end the segment. Just like Rude awkwardly pause and stumble over words, Roman Reigns had a tough time with an interview at the TLC pay-per-view in 2014. Reigns had just made a big return following an injury layoff. Roman made quite the impact on the show so it was important for him to follow it up with an effective promo. And it did start off well until Reigns gets tongue-tied and screws up his announcement that he would be the first person to declare their entry into the 2015 Royal Rumble match. And I'm here right now to be the first man to declare. After that came a pause whilst Roman made a weird face looking straight into the camera. You think? Reigns was able to finish the interview strongly despite having to take a second to compose himself after flubbing his lines. But Reigns' botch was nothing compared to our next moment, as even some of the greatest talkers can struggle when having to remember a promo word for word. And this was the case for Mick Foley when he returned as Raw's commissioner in 2016. The hardcore legend started his promo off strongly, but he soon stopped in his tracks, resulting in a long pause. Fortunately, Mick had Stephanie McMahon to steer him back in the right direction, as she visibly tells him the line he's supposed to finish with three times. What? A five alarm fire. The crowd also got behind Foley during his stumble as they chanted his name. So. Mick finished the rest of his promo well, but there was no hiding his mic mishap on the live broadcast. WWE did, however, ensure the botch was edited off the network version of the show. Our next entry shows the McMahon forgetting their own lines instead of feeding someone theirs. As Shane McMahon stood in the ring with Kevin Owens on SmackDown in the fall of 2017, Shane began to run down Owens for going against him until suddenly Shane waits a considerably long time before speaking again. Very clear. The fans then start to chant Shane on Mac's name, which helps McMahon get back on track. This appeared to help as Shane was able to continue and finish out the segment where it eventually got physical between him and Owens. Next, we have another instance of someone being fed their lines, only in a way more subtler than our previous example. And this occurred when CM Punk and the Straight Edge Society interrupted a Triple H promo to open Raw in April 2010. The game made some jokes at the faction's expense before suddenly lowering the mic and then speaking to Punk directly, who in turn replied back. Now the cameras weren't able to pick up what the two said, but we've since learned after the fact that Triple H asked what his next line was. Punk then fed it to him and the game carried on as normal. This was an interesting moment as it shows even the best talkers sometimes struggle with having to remember scripted promos. Although in this situation, both men played it off so well, it's unlikely many fans would have picked up on what was actually going on at the time. Wrestlers being able to hide forgetting their promo is one thing, but it's another when a superstar can ad-lib with even better material than what was written for them. Case in point when Heath Sater came out out during a Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman segment in 2016, he, still an undrafted free agent at the time, was hell-bent on earning either a Raw or SmackDown contract. So much so that he was even willing to step in the ring with Lesnar to make this happen. Midway through this interaction, Slater forgot what he was due to say next and instead began cutting his promo on the fly. And through this, Heath's two iconic catchphrases were born as he explained how he needed this job because he'd got kids. I just forgot my next line. So I'm just like, shit. 
I just remember saying something like, you know what, I've got kids. Hey, look in my eyes. I have kids that I have to feed. The next thing you know, it's on a t-shirt. That was my very first ever singles t-shirt. I got kids. Heath then finished his point, which allowed Heyman and even Brock himself to respond. Let's talk about your kids. I don't give a about your kids. But as expected, Lesnar took Slater to Suplex City and then Heyman finished the rest of the promo with Brock staring at the camera menacingly. So as we saw with Heath Slater, sometimes forgetting the scripted material can actually work out better. This was also the case for Matt Riddle when he appeared in a backstage segment with Asuka on Raw in 2021. It looked like Riddle was going to cut his usual rambling style of promo, but before this could even happen, Riddle realized he had forgotten what had been written for him. And without even trying to ad-lib, Riddle scooted off, leaving a confused Asuka to stand there. Although, she eventually laughed it off, just like everyone else watching at the time including Vince McMahon, who apparently found the botch hilarious. Randy Orton felt the same and even told Riddle that he had just cut his best promo ever. Man, you think scooters are big in Japan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you think? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot what I was saying. All in all, this proved to be one of the funniest WWE segments from that year and definitely helped endear Riddle more to the fans. We've spoken mostly about scripted promos so far, but a wrestler can also just simply forget what they were meant to say, regardless if the promo is written out word for word or not. During the days of the Attitude Era, promos were prepared by writing bullet points. This system worked very well and it was rare to see someone mess up their promo, but Christian wouldn't be so lucky during an in-ring segment on Raw in the year 2000. One half of the tag team champions at the time, Christian would go blank whilst on on the mic, taking a number of pauses before stumbling through the end of each sentence. I started mumbling and stumbling over my words. And it will end. What's he saying? I don't even understand him. Leaving the fans and commentators scratching their heads as they had no idea what he was saying. There will so be extreme ramifications. What? And I look at him, he's like, like, idiot. <laughs> the next day, Christian would speak with Vince McMahon, who actually praised the promo, much to Christian's shock. I remember I saw Vince the next day, and uh, he was like, hey, good stuff last night. And I was like, are you serious? I forgot everything I was going to say. He goes, you're a heel, aren't you? And he goes, you can get away with anything. So we've seen how much a wrestler forgetting their lines can affect the promo. But what about a musical performance? Well, we see plenty of them in wrestling, but of course, they can always go wrong, especially if the superstar forgets the lyrics. And this is exactly what happened to Bobby Lashley on Raw in 2018. Here, Lashley had interrupted what was due to be a performance by Elias. This instead became a duet of the song Rockin' Robin. But once it came time for Lashley's verse, he would struggle. As he completely missed out a line in the song and then picked it back up during the part he remembered. Sounding like this. <laughs> it, was, it was either that or crying. <laughs> the entire performance would be edited off the WWE Network version of the show as the feed instead cuts to Elias attacking Lashley after Bobby had already sung. Lashley was certainly a better singer than Jim Ross was as a rapper though. And believe it or not, but yes, the WWE actually did make good old JR rap on television in a rap off with Michael Cole. In the biggest train wreck segment of this entire list, JR took to the mic and started rapping. Well, I'm not sure you can even call it that. But nevertheless, Jim's first line was okay. But then he began to forget the rest of his bars and then stops rhyming altogether. JR repeats his first verse again, but still can't remember his lines as he visibly tries to think of them on the spot. All this while Michael Cole laughs at his expense. Ross was, however, able to remember his final line, although it packed much less of a punch due to the fact that he didn't have anything to rhyme it with. You kissed the king's feet, now you can kiss my ass. <laughs> How's that? Either way, the crowd still liked it and voted Jim as the winner of the rap battle. But it was clear to see that JR wanted nothing to do with this segment and rightfully so. But sadly, it wasn't over there as afterwards Booker T would ask Jim to do a JR Rooney. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Michael Cole would refer to this as the worst segment in television history and it's hard to argue with him. JR would also say that this was the worst segment he's ever been involved in on WWE. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy seeing wrestlers make mistakes, check out our video on 10 botched and unplanned kickouts. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.